The recommended way to use Kanban tools time tracking is with seamless activation. For any default board configuration, when a task is moved from a backlog or queue column type to an in progress type, the timer will activate on its own. It'll also stop when the task reaches the done lane. So there's nothing you need to do really other than move the tasks according to project status. But you can just as well pick and choose tasks from anywhere on the board and start working on them as you please without changing their location. Any task can have its timer started from the right click menu. And since a single user can only time one task at a time, as soon as you start recording time on a new task, the previously timed one will be stopped. You can also manage your time recording from my work widget. Task timers can be paused, started, edited, or removed from this single spot. To edit time records, just click the total time recorded to see a list of individual time entries to be changed or removed. And for additional clarity, you can check the time each team member had recorded for a task and when exactly this work was done, or just head to the time report section where all time tracking details are presented. To learn more and to try this service for free, please go to KanbanTool.com.